Looks like we've got everyone on board. So let me get started. Pursuant to Section 31.015 of the Texas Natural Resources Code, I'm chairing this meeting in the commissioner's absence as chief clerk of the general land office. As the commissioner is away on state business, should the commissioner return prior to the conclusion of the meeting, I will relinquish the chair to him. And pursuant to the governor's executive order to avoid gatherings more than 10 and the governor's March 16, 2020 suspension of certain provision of the Texas Open Meetings Act, the July 9, 2021 meeting of the Veterans Land Board will be held by video conference call as authorized under Texas Government Code Section 551.125. Access to the meeting by members of the public will be published in advance in the Texas Register in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act. Any member of the public who wishes to address the Veterans Land Board should indicate so at the start of the meeting or during any public comment period. Uh, Corey, do we have any visitors signed up at the moment? I do not believe so. There's no one that I recognize as a visitor and, and I've not received any notification that anyone uh, would like to speak. Good deal. So with that, the July 9, 2021 Veterans Land Board special meeting will come to order. First item on the agenda is consideration and possible action. Uh, on a amendment to the contract to complete the Texas State Veterans Home in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, board members, this is Jeff Gordon, General Counsel. Before I turn this over to Heather De La Garza to explain item one, I want to thank you all for this, uh, for making your saves available for this special meeting. It was prompted by the contract uh, approval policy that you all put into place last year. Uh, and there's been some changes that have uh, coming up with our Fort Worth vet home and we needed to move rather quickly and, and not wait until the August meeting. So I wanna thank you again for making yourselves available. And with that, Heather, could you please explain, brief the board on what item number one is? Yes, good morning, everyone. For the record, my name is Heather De La Garza, Special Counsel for Veterans Affairs. Nice to see everybody this morning. So um, as you all will see from your board memos, the purpose of our getting together today is to consider and approve an amendment to the major construction contract for the construction of our Dallas-Fort Worth Texas State Veterans Home. Uh, we entered into that contract in 2019. And so it's divided in two parts, the pre-construction phase and then the construction phase. And what we're going to do today is formally accept the guaranteed maximum price or also known as the GMP for this contract. And so what the guaranteed maximum price is, is it's a total price for the construction of the vet home. And then it's broken up into various components as you can see by your board memo. The contractor is proposing a GMP of $28,999,952. And with that, if you all are okay with that amount, uh, the purpose of the amendment, it's going to be very short, will be to formally accept this GMP proposed by the contractor. It would also set the substantial completion date at 600 days from the date we issue a notice to proceed, and it would finalize the GMP components. Um, as you will also see from your board memo, uh, the VA will fund about 65% of allowable costs for this project, and so we are under the understanding from them that they are going to approve the grant. It's just in the process of being approved. However, if that doesn't happen for some unforeseen reason, we have the ability to terminate the contract if that funding doesn't come through. So that's just the brief synopsis and I will open it up to questions uh, from the board if you all have any. Any questions of the board members? Yes, sir. I, I just have one. Given that the um, the entity which issued the, um, the estimate for the guaranteed maximum price is the same entity that will actually be executing the contract and building it um, for that price. How do, we, um, how do we ascertain that the guaranteed maximum price is the appropriate amount since they, they essentially are on both sides of the, of the contract? Does uh -huh. that make sense? Jeff, Jeff Kaufman, do you want to Kaufman, do you want to handle that one? Yes, uh, I'll be happy to. Uh, Jeff Kaufman, I'm Deputy Director for Construction Services. Um, once we entered into the initial contract, which just set the terms for how much they can set uh, charges for construction management fee, general conditions, et cetera, pre-construction services, we spent almost nine months working with them and the architect to get the best value that we can get for the construction of it. So 
The contractor has been sitting at the table with us and the architect as we went through design development, all the way up to 90% uh, construction documents. And that's what they based their price on was their 90% construction documents. And we're now finishing the documents. So we've been right along with them the whole way. Well, that, that's a good explanation, Jeff. I appreciate it. That was the missing piece that I just, um, I figured there was something in the middle, but I wasn't sure what it was. Thank you so much. You bet. Um, I was just wondering how this compares with the Houston home that, that we uh, constructed and, and completed uh, in terms of the, uh, the total price and, and also kind of that uh, 600 calendar day window. Was, was that always kind of the expectation or has that changed in this amendment as well? No, that was pre pretty well anticipated. It's very similar to our Houston home. Um, unfortunately, with the market and the COVID uh, situation over the last year, we were hoping to see some savings versus our Houston home, but because of the COVID and the market fluctuations, we're about the same price per square foot as we were for the Houston home. And then the, the Houston home also took about 600 days for construction. I think it was actually closer to 550. So we're hoping that we'll be able to actually tune this up and get it done before the 600 days. Well, hopefully you have some better weather there than you did during construction on Houston. <laughs> That's true. Any other questions from the board? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve? Um, I uh, so move. I'll second it. The motion is made, seconded, and carries unanimously to approve item number one. Thank you, Jeff. Um, and that was it. No further business uh, before the Veterans Land Board. Again, I appreciate your willingness to give up your time to come do this. I know it was it was not lengthy, but certainly necessary to, to keep things moving. So I uh, appreciate your willingness to serve and there being no further business, the meeting is adjourned.